In this video, I explain classifications of actuators by using these various diagrams so you can understand it easily. Actuators are broadly classified in a two groups. First is the linear actuators and second one is the rotary actuators. So from the names, you can understand what is the meaning of linear actuators and what is the meaning of rotary actuators. Linear actuators produce the linear motion. That's why its name is the linear actuators and rotary actuator is produce the rotations. So detailed classification is given in the classified charts. Okay. So in the last video, I explained what is the actuators. Actuator is convert the hydraulic energy or a pneumatic energy into a mechanical energy means input is hydraulic energy or a pneumatic energy and it is converted into the mechanical energy and this mechanical energy is in the we require this mechanical energy in a linear motions then we need to use the linear actuators and suppose we require the mechanical energy in a rotations form then we need to use the rotary actuators these actuators are classified in two category linear and rotary so first we understand various types of the linear actuators so in a linear actuators, first one is the rotating cylinder types. Now here you think that uh, these cylinders are rotated then why we say that it is a linear actuators. Okay. But we know that in a actuators, we use the cylinder piston arrangement connecting doors. Okay. So in this reciprocating type arrangement, the cylinders are rotated. Okay. And this oil is in inside the cylinders. Okay. And they move the pistons and this reciprocating motion reciprocating motions of the piston is converted into this linear motion that's why it's come in a linear actuators second one is the non rotating cylinders in a non rotating there is a two type first one is the single acting cylinder then second one is the double acting cylinders now here you see this image okay this yellow color portion is the cylinder but it is the cutting portions of the cylinder that that's why we are seeing that it is, here you see this is the piston this is the piston rods and this piston rod is connected with the some loads which we need to move, lift or a press, whatever these applications is requires. So what is the meaning of single acting cylinder? Single acting means the oil is only supplied or removed from the one side of the pistons. Okay, means here you see that the only one part is there and the oil is supplied from this side for the extension and when the retraction is going on, the oil is removed from these portions. Okay, here you see these imaging for the double acting cylinder means on a both side of this piston oil is supplied and removed okay for the extension oil is supplied from this left side of the pistons at the same time the oil is removed from this side so that's why here the extension and arrow in upper direction when we need to do the retractions we supplied the oil from these sides and at the same time oil present on the left side of the piston is removed from these sides it is called as the retractions this is the piston rod and this is the end of the piston rod they are connected with the some applications Third one is the special type cylinders. In a special type, there is a first one is the diaphragm cylinders, second one is the tandem cylinder. Now here you see this is the image of tandem cylinders. Okay. So in a tandem cylinder, there is a two piston is used, and this is a piston rods and various four part is there. Okay. This first image is for the extension, second image is for the retractions. Third one is the double rod and cylinder. Double rod and cylinder means on a both the side of the piston that is a rod is there. Okay. In earlier case we here see that only the one side of the piston that is a rod is there. Okay. But both the side of the piston rod is there and it is called as the double and double rod and cylinders. And next one is the telescopic cylinders. Now here you see this the image of telescopic cylinder. Telescopic cylinder means these cylinders are movable inside and outside okay these are the two different image this is a one type of telescopic cylinders and this is the second types here you see these cylinders are insides but due to this load the cylinders are also move out you all see these applications of the telescopic cylinders in the various types of the trucks okay for emptying the water amount of what is the fill inside these trucks okay so this is called as the telescopic cylinder so when these container is moving down the cylinders are moving inside and when we need to empty the container we move this telescopic cylinders in a upper directions and for one is the sorry next one is the cylinder with huge links now before moving on to other types i request to like the video and subscribe my channels for watching the more video related to the ohp as well as the other subject of the mechanical engineering for ohp various link is provided in descriptions as well as in a card for other subject visit the playlist
now fourth one is the rotary actuators so what is meaning of rotary actuators at the output we get the rotary motions so in a rotary actuator first type is the limited rotation actuators in limited rotation actuator first one is the van types so here you see this is the van type actuators this is the actual diagram and this is only diagram okay this is the actual component so these are the rotors and these are the various vans that we already understand in a van types pump okay that is a van type pump is there and the van types actuator is also there for that i also make the detailed video in a short times so you can watch it later on second one is the piston type here you see this is the piston types rotary actuators in a piston type that is another two type is there first one is the rack and pinion type so here you see this the rack is there and this is the pinion is used so here pinion gear is mentioned okay and second one is a chain and sprocket type so instance of rack and pinion mechanisms they use the chain and sprocket types second one is the continuous rotation actuators so in a continuous rotation actuator first is based on the direction means in which direction they are rotated so first one call is the unidirectional unidirectional means the motor is rotated only in a one directional that is called as the unidirectional means suppose the motor is rotated in a clockwise then they are only rotated in a clockwise direction they are not able to rotate in anti clockwise directions second one is the biodirectional motors means biodirectional actuators biodirectional means they are rotated in a two direction clockwise as well as the anti clockwise according the which side the fluid is supplied or a oil is supplied second one is the base on the constructions in a base of construction first one is the gear type rotor here you see this the spur gear or helical gear are used in a hydraulic actuators or a motors second one is the van types so here you see this the diagram of the van type actuators and the third one is the piston type motors so in which that is a small 8 to 12 piston is used so thank you for watching this video if you learn something then like the video and subscribe my channel for watching the more video related to the ohp as well as other subject of mechanical and don't forget to share with your friends